one owner car guy and I got a really unique car here today for you. This here is a 1977 Pontiac Bonneville Brome Landau with a sunroof and it's a beautiful car. This car is a one owner car and the miles on it they're, I believe they're original at, I think it's 73? I have to look when I get inside. Beautiful car. Very, very odd to find these in good condition, let alone somebody that's had it all its whole life. Let alone in a Brome model. Let alone in a Brome Landau. Woo! This is what you want right here. Everybody's got a Caprice. Everybody's got a Caprice. Even the Popo. Ain't nobody got a Bonneville Brome with a sunroof and a Landau top. Super cool. Now the Landau top is pretty original there, and some of them came with it. The sunroof, I don't believe is original. I'll let, you know, I'd like for some of my viewers to comment. I love when people comment. Everybody here, a lot of people know a lot more about this stuff than me. Um, however, I do know this car has the 403. Awesome. I got to liken the 403 from having the, um, so many Trans Ams. In fact, I still got about 34, 35, 19, 79 to 19, excuse me, 76 to 19, 81 Pontiac Trans Ams. A little bit of a windy day, and I'm going to go ahead and do your close up and around here. My name is Nathan, it's 406-544-6919, you can reach me anytime. My website, www.oneownercarguy.com. Check that side out, and I upload about 60 to, well, 60 pictures on that one. On eBay, there'll be a few more, because they allow me to put more pictures. So, oneownercarguy.com. Now I'll go up and show you any of the minor damage and little, little things on it that you could kind of tinker with if you wanted. And then we'll go on a test drive, go up to the house, and show you the interior and different lighting to where you can see it. As you can see, it's got some... Beautiful rocker panels. Now these wheels are hubcaps. I want to say a word about the turbine hubcaps. I wish I had them complete with all the spikes or old flanges or whatever you want to call them, but I do not. Yeah, this one's missing a chunk there. Look good still, but they are missing those parts. Um, let's just go with this. A couple little chips. A couple chips on the trunk and a little bit of just fading the trunk as you can see not a rusty car or anything the chrome's beautiful as you can see Let me show you under the back don't know if I did don't believe so absolutely beautiful just all there is to say about it I love these California cars they're just not rusty and clean. Little scuff on that. Nothing you can hardly see. The rubbers are in great condition. A couple scuffs on the bumper here, as you can see. I love the emblem or logo. A little scratch there. A couple little marks on the trunk. Nothing serious. The chrome around the lights and bezels and stuff is beautiful. Great car. Going down the sides, you can tell that they this has got the top of that surface coming off, but you can tell they stuck it back on at some point and didn't get it lined up exactly correct. Uh, it looks okay. Little chips along the door there. A couple. Chrome's in great condition. Window sweep has a crack in it there. Chrome trim around the Landau top and everything is in great trim. Great trim. Great condition. You know, a couple little scratchy marks on it. The Landau top is in great shape. No rips or tears or anything. Tied around all the chrome pieces. It's beautiful. I love these original cars like this that somebody takes care of. Gotta love the sunroof here. A little something right there starting. Nothing serious anyway. I don't think that's factory. I don't. No, I really don't know either. Trim around the windows is in great shape. Piece going down the middle looks awesome. Going down to that hood over there. Now I'll kind of go down the side. Give you a side view again. A couple little water 
marks on it. What you got is a beautiful car. You drive it around and everybody looks at it. Um, and at the same time, you could repaint this thing and just make it perfect. Um, I have the skirts for it. I clip in there. Factory um, undercoating on the wheel wells. Come on. There we go. It looks great. Frame is great. And rocker panels are beautiful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you underneath the front here. It should be pretty simple. Absolutely beautiful. I don't know what exactly. This guy's acting like backing up is a challenge or something the way he glared at me. Oh well. Absolutely beautiful oil pan underneath, tie rods, metal everywhere. It's just clean as can be. Here. Plastic piece has a split right there. I don't think it was made like that. But the rest is in pretty good dang shape. A little mark in your bumper there. Bezels around the front, great shape. You know, I think they were shaded in gray right there and it kind of went back to chrome in a couple areas as you can see. Grill looks great. Little miscellaneous rock chips across the front, as you can see there. Nothing really to talk about on the hood. Couple, huh? Looks like a piece of primer fucked up on it or something. But little miscellaneous chips is about all you can complain about here. Now, you look for restroom and stuff, it just ain't there, man. Wheel wells, look at this factory metal in here. Absolutely beautiful. Nice as it gets. Uh, rubber's all good. Um, Goodyear, man, I'd say there's, you know, there's 40%, 50% tread left. Um, they put a Mitchell one on the back. On that one. That's a low level light adjustment hit here, and you can see your tranny and everything is just beautiful. Come on. There we go. Just beautiful. And the step's got to be clean underneath as well as on top if I'm interested in buying it. Rocker panels are in great shape. This one here needs to be tightened up, the set screw in there. A couple ding dent type things right in here. A ding here. And I think that's about what ding on the front fender right there. Beautiful. A couple wear through marks from over the years lightly. A little bit of fading on the roof going on. Around your sunroof. All that thing is beautiful. Tiny little mark right there. Right there. Maybe something small starting there. There you can see it close up. It's just tight as can be. Around all the edges and seams. The whole deal. A little scuff. Right there. You can barely see it. But it is there. Small ding. So that's your once around. That's your twice around. That's your underneath. That's your on top. Now I got a set of 20 inch iron cross wheels. And I'm just so tempted to put them on this. I think I'm gonna end up having to do it. Small thin in the chrome right here too, by the way. And like I say, I do have the skirts. One's a different color, but the other one is the right deal and everything. My name's Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. You can reach me anytime. And my website, www.oneownercarguy.com. Check that out. Check out my other videos. Over 725 of them on here. Lots of one owner, clean, unique, Euro, classic, muscle cars, you name it. And I sell them cheap. Uh, www.cerealmarshmallows.com You can check out my cereal marshmallows. Same as is in your morning breakfast cereal, but with no cereal. Mm -mm. Put them in your pancakes, your oatmeal. Heck, you can put them in anything you want. Eat them by themselves, they taste great. This piece is just a little loose on here. 
It's not loose at all, actually. It's just a tiny, tiny. They reattached it. Use a piece of tape under, under it. So aside from the miscellaneous dingy ding, let me show you this before I get, forget to. The end buckle cap type things are not on there. Okay. We head down the road now. Check it all out. And I wanted to show you that your ashtrays, come on now, are missing. So you should know that. Um, and the uh, fake wood on the knobs there looks great. On the dash looks great. Now, I got used to these cars from my Trans Amps. I love Trans Amps. And this has the same radial tune suspension. It's a Brome. And it has the same 403. Um, oh. Don't seem to be smoked in. And at the same time, there's that mark right there. That happens at the auction sometimes, too. There's no... I got my nose stopped up a little bit. No evident smell of anything like that. It smells good, actually. Um, great car. Fires right off. Small little tiny hole in the muffler back there. A uh, little tiny spot right there, too. Your speaker grills are kind of chewed up on the dash, I guess you'd say, the way they get. And... Here we go. Oh, radio. Hi. It's all good. Windows. The switch is a little sticky. But it works fine. Just gotta know how the spot is, I guess. And they're fast. Um, the, both of them buckles are on there. As they should be. I'll show you this stuff up at the house. Shifts, steers, floats down the road. Up to 40, like right now. Power options, the whole deal. I'm gonna slow it down to about 20. And we'll give it the juice. <laughs> Gotta let off before your upshift even because you're at the speed limit just like that. Um, the car is fast. If you go around a corner and you lay into the pedal, you will leave a patch of rubber. That's all there is to it. Um, the car is powerful and it's actually very fun to drive. We go catch them. I wouldn't fix the hole in the muffler. In fact, I'd cut it off. Make it louder. Sounds so cool, the 403. It's a cool 403, and you really, going down the road, you don't hear it unless you get on it. If you get on it, you'll definitely hear the little hole I'm talking about, but. Dead squirrel on the road. Okay. Turn around here. You turn easy. Well, I turn easy too. Man, I'll tell you, this thing just wants to go. That's all there is to it. You, you, you actually have a hard time holding your foot off of it. Ah, beautiful 36,000 mile Lincoln. Right there. All right. Get my whole trunk in there. And that should do it. So, I showed you the windows. And it's just a little bit rolling like that. And I missed that. 
And I had the dang books for it. And they seem to have disappeared or be in the office somewhere. Dash is in great shape, except for those speakers real pieces. There's Breeder. Hi, Breeder. What are you doing? She's like, what are you doing? A little hole in the roof right there, and I can get this headliner replaced for you for about a 150 max, between 120 to 150. Let me get this key back on here. There we go. Works great. And not only that, it closes. Always nice when they close, right? A little piece of that tube seal has came up there. And it's supposed to be stretched right into that side right there, as you can see. Great shape, pull these down. Ooh, got the turn-ons, one don't turn on. Oh yeah. I didn't have anything on, AC and everything. Didn't have anything on because of the... Um, what am I trying to say now? The sound, I wanted you to hear that hole. Um, and your this one's pushed in a little ways. And could likely it's in there. It ain't coming out. But you could pull it out. It ain't sticking in no more. See this one? Oh, it's got a split flange type thing. Well this way and that way. I thought it was broke, but they got two to where you could split it. Now that's pretty slick. On all of them? No, the side ones are a little different. Here's that hole in a better light. That's why I show the interiors in here. Safety. Don't want everybody to jump out of their skin there. Nice, long, wide opening doors where you can step right in. Door panels are in beautiful shape. This is not the kind of thing that I will um, redo and repaint, but you can repaint these to look beautiful. They all match great. Um, your carpet is in good shape, and you got a hole right there in it, a slice kind of, and you got a wear mark here in it from where you, your foot would set. There's your back motion. You got a piece of lint on there. There's your up, down, front up, front down, back up, back down, back. Um, I think that's all of them. Um, the mat comes up, looks beautiful. We've got a couple stains that might come out. Hardly anywhere on the pedals. They look great. Um, missing the knob. Cruise control. And it looks nice with the thunder. Headliner's in great shape except for that little tear right behind the light. Here's your seats from a different view. Show you the interior in the back. Doesn't hardly look like anybody sat in the seats. Little chips right here. Cockpit pictures there. Car's beautiful. A little tear in the carpet that's on the on the seat there. And my toe, yes, and my toe. Okay. Got the carpet along there, that looks great. Probably it's tight and all, but you can see that clip right there came out of this piece. It's in there, so you could get a new clip for it. A little bit of tape on the seal right here. As you can see, right down to there. I didn't take it off. I left it there. Beautiful car. I actually am 
driving this one and thinking about putting my wheels on it. I think I mentioned that. And drive it around with my wheels on it. Come on now. Trunk's in great shape. Carpet's in great shape. There's your skirts. With the rubber seals. And there's your little handles. And it goes like that. And then your handle sucks it in. Hang on a sec. First off, you don't do it with a camera. And it's easy. Guaranteed. That should be in the manual. Do not attempt this with a camera. So that'll give you an idea of how she's going to look with her skirt on. Now that you've done seeing her with her skirt off, can't believe you. Little, looks like grease or glue. Glue. This drop down from up here or something. Oh, right there, exactly where it is. Carpet's in great shape. The spare tire cover still spares in great shape. Everything's here. Jack. Got the extra one, but it's in a silver color. Um, this one didn't come with both of them, so I got that one off of a, a brome four door I have. Little clips, I don't know what they are. So if you wanted a four-door and a two-door, there you go. I got both. Make it. Weather stripping could be replaced when you paint it as well. Um, a little older. That gold color would be beautiful back on this car. Of course, then again, candy purple. Candy apple red. A little bit of flakage right there along that seam. Candy apple red with that top. Oh, God, that looked look good. I like purple for some reason. Maybe because nobody has a purple something. That'd be a good reason. You don't see a lot of purple. I got a purple Mustang I just uploaded. Slight difference in color between the two sides of the seat. Almost like this side's more faded almost. Look at that beautiful shag carpet, I guess you'd call it. <laughs> yeah. And then I showed you underneath it. And I think I showed you in the glove box even. Yeah, I did. Lights and everything under there. Door panels are in great shape. You can see you got a little tear in that piece there. And a little discoloration right in here. Same way, that's why people re dye them sometimes. Weather stripping on this side is in rather good shape. In weather good shape? There you go. I love the brome package with the wood in there. It just looks great. Okay. Hang on a sec here. Look at the hood ornament, why don't you? Just look at the hood ornament. It's okay, girl. Turn the light on real quick. <laughs> All right. Under the hood. It is beautiful. Ooh, that helped a little. Sure did. That camera picked right up on that, buddy. And this thing has not been all hacked apart and everything. This thing is just as original as it gets. Get yourself a Chilton's or a Haynes and you can actually still work on this. Okay, girl. Like what I want out. Like I said, I got really used to this motor and setup in the Trans Am. Um, got lots of Trans Ams with the 403 in it. Great motor. Olds motor. Hood liner is still in great shape. Look at this. So something you can still work on. How rare is that nowadays? And just a good daily driver car. I mean... These things are no slouch on um, fuel economy. They do okay. They roll down the road. And they got plenty of pedal, buddy. So, 
that's kind of your once around, your twice around, your three time around. A little bit of wear there, you can see the wood coming off and you can see the aluminum type finish underneath. Okay. Oh, the seatbelt light comes on up there. I want you to put it on. Put your seatbelt on then. Okay. I think I have shown you everything. Can't think of nothing else to show you there. My name's Nathan. 406-544-6919. You can reach me absolutely anytime. Um, my website, www.oneownercarguy.com. Missing the brome sign underneath there. And a couple fins on the wheels. I showed you that. Let me make sure you see the other side. See a couple fins on that one too. That's the worst one, probably. And I almost rebought them, but I could just keep putting money into them, and that's the kind of thing you might not like the fin wheel. And there's a couple dings underneath this door, and I didn't show going down that side because I was looking at the trim. And you can see it with the skirt on. Looks, looks great. And that was cold water, kinda. And now I got wet sandals. Sorry about that. Lost focus there. Name's Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. California Blue Play car. Just beautiful car. Runs great, drives great, shifts great, rocker panel great. Yes siree. Import, export. I'll ship this car anywhere in the world. Just call me up. Check out my sites. Make sure and subscribe. If you check out my channel here, I've got well over 725 videos. And I upload more every, every day I try to upload one or two. And lots of cool one and two owner classic Euro and muscle cars. And I don't know what this fits in, what range. I got people that argue with me till they're blue in the face. This is not a classic. Well, it is. I ain't gonna argue about it. It just is. Because I said so? Okay. Well, that's that. 77 Bonneville Brome 403 Landau. Beautiful car. Nathan, we'll talk to you.